welcome back to another custom die cast video. Today we have four different die casts that we are going to be customizing. But here is the thing. We're not going to do damaged. We're not going to do the normal stuff. We are going to make, or going to attempt to make, I should say, playoff die cast and win versions, like with confetti. So we'll see how that works later on. Uh, maybe next episode we'll do a, com a combination of both, a playoffs and a win, but we don't know. We'll, we'll see. So we have a lot of items. We have some paint. Uh, we do have nail polish, but that is uh, for the splitter and for the spoiler. It says last up to 10 days. You can see it here. But here's the thing. With your hands, you know, they're supposed to go on your nails, right? So, I mean, you're going to be moving and stuff. You're going to be... Uh, handling stuff you're gonna be washing your hands but I feel like it's gonna last a lot longer because I'm not really going to be touching uh, the spoiler or the splitter I just pointed to the different things I said spoiler and splitter which is completely wrong but I am not going to be touching those unless I paint them so during like stop motions I don't touch the splitter or the spoiler I touch like this part here to like move it or the bumper just kind of like scooch a little bit forward so I think it's gonna last way longer but, you know, we'll see. We got a clear coat uh, for the, well, uh, glitter, you know, to put it on there. We had different ones, but I didn't want, like, glitter, glitter, if that made sense. I was kind of wanting something that would be a little bit bigger and, like, you know, kind of a little more non-glittery stuff. But we have blue, silver, red, uh, red, purple, and I believe silver mix, and a green. And I think I'm going to only use two of those, which will be probably the mix and the silver. Now, I think I'm going to use the silver on Logano and the mix on Kyle Busch. And, of course, the green is going to go on the Harvick and the Kozlowski. But, you know, we're, we're going to see. With the clear coat, I don't understand if... Because the banners are paper. I don't know if it's going to affect the paper or not. And if it does, I'll do it on one, and I'll take the banners off, and then do it on the other, or something like that. But, again, we'll see how it goes. First time doing it. And we're going to have, like, donut marks, too. So I took a uh, some super glue, I took a stick, and uh, glued a tire to it. Still not completely dry, but, I mean, we'll get, we'll get there. It'll dry here, here in a little bit. And then we got, oh, I just hit my lamp. Got a little cup, got some black uh, paint back here. That's what we're going to dip it in, and then we're going to stick it on the side, kind of twist it a little bit, and see how that works. So we do not have the Dremel today, and cut, well, I think I do. No, it's not, it's in Mom's building, never mind. I thought it was in here, but, I mean, we're still not going to use it, so there's no point. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to clear coat it, we're going to uh, put confetti on it. Of course, we'll do the uh, donut mark before we clear coat it. I will clear coat the sides, too. Just, you know, to have a little effect, like some confetti on the side and whatnot. But, I mean, we'll see how it is. I got some painter's tape to kind of mark out where we're not going to paint. And I do have a little paintbrush here. I should have probably got water, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'll get water here in a minute. But that's what we're going to do, so let's get to it. So we are going to start with Big Bad Brad Keselowski. Uh, a driver, you know, I kind of root for here and there. Uh, he did... And he, I'm pretty sure he ran for, didn't, yeah, he ran for Junior Motorsports, yeah, okay. He ran for Junior Motorsports before, you know, so I'm kind of a fan of him, and, he, and he's a good guy, you know. He's not really one to start anything, you know, he's just, he's not. So, he's kind of co uh, collaxed. I was going to say calm, cool, and relaxed, but it came out collaxed. So, we're going to do the spoiler and splitter, and we will see how that goes. So, we are going to take a little bit of painter's tape. I'm going to move this. I'm going to do this off camera. So, you know, it's not really going to bore you. Okay, so there it is. I know it's way more than necessary, but, I mean, it's painter's tape. It's not going to peel off the paint. So that's why I did it. Uh, let's see. Any directions I need to do? No, okay. So what I'm going to do is this brush is incredibly huge. Oh, Jesus. So I'm going to put... <coughs> oh god that's strong I'm going to put that here I'm going to dip 
these into this. You can't see, but I, I want to do it off camera. Well, maybe not off camera. Uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try here. I'm gonna dip this into this, and we're gonna color this. See? Oh no! Oh, see, that's why we have painters tape. And then we're just gonna try this. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know if it will. We may, may not. Who knows? Well, it's hard to do it on camera, so we'll see. So I did the back, and I am waiting for it to dry. Then we'll see what's going on. Because I mean, it didn't do a best job, but it I haven't done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. But we did a little bit. Of course, it's going to get a little messy. That's why I had the painter's tape on there. But if that dries, we'll do uh, the spoiler, or the splitter right here. And then we'll uh, see how it turns out. But, as that bracket Zaleski dries, uh, we're going to take a wind version that I already have. Actually, already custom. See, I tried to do a little donut thing there. That's why we have the new technique here. But, you see, there's got a blown out tire there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the confetti part. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. But, that's why you test it. And if it doesn't work in this episode... Just goes to complete crap, that's okay, because it's all first try. Nobody knows how to do this, unless they do and they're just not sharing their stories. But, if that's how it is, then, oh well, I'm sharing mine, so, I want to see how this works. Alright. Doesn't seem to be too bad, but, I don't know how to do this, because I've never done this, as I've said. But, we're going to get... Uh, which one? Where'd I go? Oh. Do I get the silver stuff here, uh, beside that? You can see the bright in the background. Then we're going to do this, and then see how it works out. I'm going to clear coat it, and then I'm going to take this and put it over it, and see how that looks. you can't really see that well that's how it looks now so to be sure that it stays on we're going to clear coat it once more So, that's how it's looking right now. Not too bad. Only problem is, uh, now, 
the windows are a little foggy, but that's, I mean, that's just about it. There's not much else to it. So I think we can let that pass. So we're going to clean up the mess. I don't know how, but we're going to. Um, I have an idea. I'm just going to see if this will help. I don't know. Uh, please help. It worked. How about it? All right, we're going to clean up this mess using tape. So let's see how that goes. Hey, it actually worked. How about it? So, we got the Logano done. Still not really dry. So we should probably let that dry. We're going to set you over here. And then I think we're going to do another clear coat of the Kyle Bush. But we're going to use the other stuff. Actually, before that, we're going to get some paint in here. We're going to test out our little, whatchamacallit, that we're going to do. So we're going to pour the paint in this little cup I've got sitting here. Little cut up cup. Not much. Kind of thick. It's all good though. Put it back up. So we got a little bit there. Now what we're going to do, as I said, is we're going to take this right here that I've got. We're going to take this that's on a stick. And we're going to do some little imprints. And see how that works. We're going to... A little bit here. I'm just going to stick on the side there. There you go, not bad. I do a little quarter panel one here. Then on the other side, we're going to do one. It's going to be one little, oops, just one little tap. If we can fix these right here. So we're going to do that. Can't see what I'm doing off camera, but. I'm fixing because I got a little too much on there, so we're just gonna not knock the confetti over. But we're gonna drop the paint on everything, so just we'll get it, we'll get it. Hang on, technical difficulties. It's all good. There we go. Glad that wasn't open. Oh, that was open. No. Okay. That's good. That's fine. I'm having trouble. Hang on. Screw it, you're going over here. So you don't fall. And then we're going to take one little dip. We'll dink it, not sink it. But then just go boom. Nope. Well, no. Ah. Uh, we are going to redo that because it wasn't good. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this out. Like these. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just p p dipping it in water. I'm going to do that. We're going to clean it off. All right, so once again, we're going to take a little dip here. Like that. We're just going to stick it to the side. Like that. There's one good one. Uh, what else are we going to do? So we got one good one here, and we do have to let that dry before we clear coat anything. Uh, hmm. I think we should just kind of black out one. So we're going to get a marker real quick. If I can find one because I just cleaned up this building and I just kind of threw stuff into boxes. So we're going to look for something. Oh, found one. Okay. Fantastic. It was in the Lego box. I need to get rid of these Legos. There's a lot of Legos that I don't use. Okay. So we're going to take... The sharp we have here, put you over here, connect you here, and then do this here. It's not really dry, or uh, not really working, it's kind of dry. But we'll do this, kind of mark that out a little bit, then we will do one here as well. Just kind of move this but the way, not all the way, but you know, just kind of like that. So we're going to sit him back here, and we're going to check on Brad, see how Brad's doing. I think Brad's not completely dry. 
we may be. Yeah, I, well, well, it's still, well, still, what we're going to do is, uh, front here. So we're going to move this. I know you can't see what I'm doing. We're going to actually take a bit of this, rip this, put this here, drop this here, and then unscrew this, put this here. I still know you, I still know you can't see what I'm doing, but I promise you it's not important. Did this in here, uh, like so. Then paint the splitter. So we're going to do that. It's going to take a few coats. Again, I'm going to do this off camera. So let's do that. So Brad's is done. So he's going to sit over here and hang out and dry. And Logano's is actually completed because everything's dry on it now. So there's the. Uh, Finished product, uh, not the best looking, you know, but hey, we tried. It's so good, you know. We'll try on error. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll find a different way. So there's that one. And then put you over here. And then Kyle Bush is, oh no, he fell over. He's, uh, he's getting there. Uh, he's not completely dry, but he almost is. See, you can see a little wetness there. He's almost done, but he's not. So we'll give him time. We'll give Brad time. And we'll start working on Kevin Harvick's uh, playoff paint scheme. So, while Harvick is drying, because I got the spoiler from him, we can now do uh, the clear coat and the confetti for Kyle Busch. Because the tire rub has dried completely. Uh, as you can see, there's no more wetness. It's a matte. So, that is all good. We can do that now. It actually turned out pretty well. I like that. So, we can do the clear coat thing again. Uh, I'll probably do the clear coats as a little montage. Not really montage, but like I'll have it silenced and music over it because you know it's just kind of silent. So I'll do that. I'll get my confetti out. Where's it at? Well, I'm not trying to call it like it's a dog. Uh, I know I'm kind of taking up a lot of time with these. I don't mean to. I might cut some of it out or not. Okay, here's the confetti or well, the glitter. So we're going to clear coat Kyle Busch, and then we're going to put the confetti on him. Once again, we'll, I'll probably do the whole music deal. Let's do this. I may not do like a whole thing. I may do like a little hood and like a little bit on the roof. Not like something completely terrible. So I figured out why it was cloudy for because you got the ink here the ink it'll pink oh right here you can see that it'll pick up through the ink and then it will spread on the thing and it'll get throughout the car so now that I know that uh, next time I do these I will take the banners completely off and then I will do the just the other stuff so you know you don't want a cloudy windshield or anything but I got now I got to clean the brush and then I'll redo it well, I'm not gonna redo it but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another coat over so it stays on so I believe it's dry 
believe so. All right, so I want to do a little bit more. I'm just going to clear coat over the rest of it. So the cow bush has dried. You can see right here, got the confetti. Now I realize, I think, yeah, you know, okay, I already told you about the whole ink thing. I'm pretty sure anyway. But there is the confetti for it. It's a mix, and I like that mix. I got a little bit on the back too, not a lot, but, you know, put that on there. We already blacked out the tires. Uh, did a little donut hole and blacked out a little bit here. But that is all for this one and for the joey so we're going to put these back here and then we're going to wait for these two to dry which i think brad is almost done but harvick isn't so we'll, we'll we'll look at brad and see if he's done yet and if not i'll let you know and we'll i'll be back when they're finished so the brad is done i just hope when i peel the painter's tape off that it stays on there and the paint doesn't like chip off with the rest of it. So we're going to see how it goes. If not, it's still, it still a good attempt. You know, we'll just see how everything works out. Now, I hope it does work out. But if it doesn't, like I said, it's all good. Let's see how it's... Alright, so far so good. So far so good. It looks like it just hit something. I'm worried. I don't want to get this all messed up. Because that would suck. Be out here for like an hour uh, trying to do this would really suck if, let me zoom out, if it didn't get done correctly. And that would be really terrible. And then uh, I don't want to mess it up. Don't mess up. What's up? Ah, uh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Bad, but not bad. Last one. See how this goes. Uh, don't mess up, 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 don't mess up. Ah. Okay, so. Not terrible. Got a little bit on the panel, but that's okay, we can take that off, probably. We, we can take that off, right? Yeah, we can take that off. Okay, so, that's not... Terrible, but it's still not good. Uh, well, it's a trial and error. I mean, it's it's enough to work, but I'm not happy with how not good it turned out. I guess it's not bad, but it needs to be touched up a little bit. I mean, it's still like I said, it'll, it'll still work, but it's just there to get the point across. You know what I mean? It's not really there for, like, 100% accurate, but we're trying. So from now on, with the whole, like, setting it up to it, I'm not going to set it up entirely. I'm going to give it a little bit of a space to kind of move. We're going to see how this works. I'm pulling off the bumper now, so we'll see how... This goes. I'm not pulling off the bumper, I'm pulling off the front part. Mm, just hope it stays on pretty well. Now I have a problem. It's pulling off the actual paint on the die cast. But it's painter's tape and it's not supposed to do that, so I don't know why. 
was doing that. But now uh, we have a problem. The whole front bumper is a little uh, gone. Yeah, you, uh, you see that? It's, uh, it's a little uh, not good. <laughs> not good at all. Oh, well. Like I said, we're trying. Okay? We're trying. This is why we leave it up to Lionel. Well, actually, it's probably a better job. Well, no, it's probably not, but... Hey, maybe not use... Maybe use some clear tape next time. Who knows? Painter's tape. I thought I was going to do it right, and it didn't. But, oh well. Like I said, it's trial and error. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's how it goes. I'm just glad that that was a $5 and not a $9. So, we'll see how this one works. Hopefully it doesn't peel off either. So, I just discovered something else. If you're going to do the whole uh, playoff thing, do it on the gold series because that sticks better. Or at least in this match, it stuck better. As you can see here, if I get this hand, it, it didn't really peel anything off. So, the gold series is definitely better. And I did have to redo this one because uh, I it wasn't dry all the way. So, you know, I kind of messed that up. But that is all so far. Or at least I think that is all. Let's see, you got the... Yeah, okay, that's, that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and do the outro and get this over with. Because I've been out here since like 6 and it's 7 now, so I mean... We're finally going to end this. Uh, hopefully it comes out better next time. But we're going to go ahead and do the outro. So thank you guys so much for watching this custom diecast video. I know they're not the best. Especially with the playoffs. But I mean. It's, it's a learning experience. You know you'll get better at some stuff as you go along. Like these I'm sure I'll get better with these. I'm sure I'll have different strategies I guess to make these a little bit better. But that is all I have for now, so that's all I'm going to use. Uh, I may find different materials here and there. I may try actual paint later on, but I don't, I don't know. It's just not as thick as the other stuff is, so it just, I don't know. But I do have a little bit of problems with the decaling coming off of the diecast itself. So I don't know how many I'm going to do of these, and I, I need to do it for like a good cause <laughs> because it's peeling off and it's not good. Now, the Gold Series isn't as bad, but the Authentics definitely is. And the Authentics is cheaper, but, you know, that's just, that's how it is. But that's going to be all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.